Darnell, especially in this uh, second half of the season to date, it seems like any time you guys have one or two games where things don't necessarily go your way, you guys bounce back with the big effort. What do you say about the collective whenever it comes to that aspect of the game? Yeah, I think it's, uh, you know, first kind of a challenge, you know, the whole year to, you know, when you lose one, not not let it snowball. And I think, uh, you know, for us to, to come out and, and grab it and put together four wins of, over the last six games and, you know, pretty condensed uh, schedule, it's, uh, it's a good sign for a group we got, that's got to continue. How much onus do you put on your own shoulders as part of the leadership group as well as Connor? Because obviously he scores 108 into this one, but you guys deliver in a big way when your team kind of really needed to end this road trip on a high note. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, as, as a leader guy has been around uh, for a while, you, you want to come out in an effort like this and, and make an impact. And, um, you know, this, is, uh, this was a good night where I was able to, to capitalize on a couple of chances and um, hopefully that can continue and, and continue to build uh, as the, the end of the year comes. Do you remember your first two-goal game in the NHL? Uh, was it Florida? I was trying to think. In Arizona. In, oh, it was Arizona. Arizona. That's right. 2018. Yeah, yeah that was Arizona. Uh, what, does it mean to... Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> what does it mean to you to deliver with two big ones? Uh, yeah, no, it's, I think just, uh, you know, find a way to get to those those spots and guys making good plays. and. To be able to capitalize on it's good, uh, it's good. But like I said, it's got to continue here. There's uh, a lot of big hockey games, and you know, coming up here over the stretch and getting ready for for the end of this year. Connor was saying that you guys felt like you let Calvin Pickard down a couple of starts ago. Uh, how much did you guys really want to show up for number 30? And then also just maybe speaking to his play today with 40 saves. Yeah, we definitely let him down there in, uh, uh, in Columbus, and uh, you know he's a guy that comes and, and brings so much for our group each and every day, whether it's you know, work ethic, positive attitude. Um, so, you know, whenever he's coming out here and playing the game too, he's, he's kicking, he's, he's making big saves at big moments and uh, giving us a chance every time he's in there. So it was important for us to, to come and respond and give him an honest effort from, from our perspective. And even with that, he made you know, a big save there at the, the end of the game to preserve a shutout. And uh, you know, it's, it's always fun playing from him. Darnell, they've had a rough go of it as of late, but they still have some of the names that they've had for a while. Is there still some extra pride in the fact that yeah. you're able to give up all those shots but keep them off the score sheet? Yeah, I mean, that's um, obviously there's a lot of guys on the team that uh, a lot of us in here grew up, uh, you know, grew up uh, or grew up lo uh, looking up to and, and watching and playing in huge moments. So um, yeah, it was uh, it was great for us to you know put together that team effort and picks was was huge for us. How do you assess this two one and one road trip? Uh, I think you know. Obviously, with the, the Columbus and Buffalo, we left uh, opportunity for for points on the table, so you can't be uh, satisfied with that at all. Um, but you know, with that said, I think we had uh, a couple big games where we we showed up and, and played the right style of hockey. So um, not uh, not all positive, but more positive than bad.